Hi everyone, I'm Shakir. Um, so I just have maybe one message today and that's sort of to build connections between different areas of machine learning. So today we used almost exclusively the word adversarial training and the message I wanted to leave with you is the words that we use in other parts of machine learning and other parts of computational science in general for this problem that we've been looking at today. So if you were a statistician, um, Everything we spoke about today, you would talk about under the topic of likelihood-free inference. If you are an econometrician, then you would talk about the problems that we spoke about today as a problem of indirect inference. Um, in the book of Hasty and Tip Sharani, everything we spoke about today, you would call that unsupervised as supervised learning. Um, other people have called this density estimation by comparison, and in general more in probability theory, you would talk about non-maximum likelihood learning. So all these different things are connected to the problems we had today and sort of the solutions we are looking for and analysis methods are there. So to try and unpack, and so that was our motivation, to try and build these connections, to try and understand GANs better, and we had some fundamental questions in generative models that we wanted to try and address. And so that's what we put together in a, a short paper. So to do that, we're going to structure our thinking in three different ways. We're going to ask, what is the probabilistic model that we're actually interested in doing? What is the principle of inference that underlies the analysis in GANs and all these related literatures? And then we're going to try and put them together to form a single algorithm at the end and then look at its analysis. So the way you do this in classical statistics is to look at the taxonomy of probabilistic models and one one of these models we call implicit models. Implicit models form a stochastic generating process that allows you to generate data. But that's all they do, and so all the things we know about maximum likelihood learning, Monte Carlo inference, variational inference, do not apply here. So now we need to think of another way of doing inference. And that way of doing inference, as I said, is called an indirect inference or a method of comparison. All you can do is compare two samples of data, a sample from your true data to sample from another source of data. And so this is then this idea of density estimation by comparison or hypothesis testing as the underlying inferential principle in generative adversarial networks, and we saw lots of this today. So basically you have two hypotheses, the main hypothesis is either to test the equality of distribution P to Q or to say that they are not equal. You can use this uh, hypothesis test to give you a loss function. And then the loss function for anything in these methods involves two steps. The first step is a comparison step where you use to compare and make a statement about how related the two data points are. And the second step is a estimation step where you then actually update parameters of your model. So there are four ways of dealing with this problem of density estimation by comparison um, or hypothesis testing. Um, one way that you mentioned today was called the density difference way where you compute this quantity R. And this is what Arthur spoke about earlier, and there are many different ways of doing this. If you look in the classical statistics, the generalized method of moments, or simulated method of moments, or as Arthur discussed, using um, maximum mean discrepancy, or some of the other very new areas of machine learning, like optimal transport, fall in this area. In the other category, you have the density ratio methods, which look at doing testing by computing the ratio of P, the true data, to Q, the other data set. The most common way of dealing with this is by class probability estimation. It's a very simple derivation to do. And this is the standard technique as we use in GANs, in uh, climate science, in ecology, and uh, in high energy physics. This is the way you would solve that problem. But you don't only need to use a classifier. There are other ways of doing this. Um, the F divergence is called the integrated Bayes risk, and you can use that approach, or you can do the Bregman divergence. And they're all related in different ways. And we have lots of references. Um, I I guess the most critical one or interesting one to look at is the method of approximate Bayesian computation. And in 2004, around the same time as the GAN paper was published, the same year we published our VAE papers, there's another interesting paper called the Training of Generative Models by Classifier-Based Methods by Michael Goodman. He's somewhere in the room. It's a really interesting paper for everyone to read as well um, that gives us a good coverage of the literature. And there's lots of interesting analysis techniques, techniques from M estimation theory, the techniques from probability theory that they use in ABC, um, and the things from uh, indirect inference which give us all the tools to do analysis and different things of optimization. So um, thanks. <laughs>